In addition to these features, you can also use the options button in the top right to access the varying options you have access to. Starting with copy lesson, you can take this lesson, select copy lesson, and copy it to any day within your calendar. Depending on the day that you select, it'll tell you what classes you have scheduled, and you can copy it to one or all of those classes by simply selecting them here. And you'll notice that as you add classes, it'll tell you how many you're about to copy them to. So in this case, we may want to take this lesson that we've created on Monday, September 3rd, and copy it to Tuesday for the morning and afternoon blocks of math, Wednesday, again, for the morning and afternoon, Thursday, and Friday. So we simply click through the dates and add them to the classes, and you'll notice it changes the dates green as you add a class for each of those dates. Now that we've done this, we can click the copy option, confirm that we want to copy it to all eight classes that we've selected, and click yes. Now we'll be able to go into each of those dates and adjust the lesson plan from there rather than having to start from scratch. So this will include all the standards we've associated, the videos and images we've embedded, and even the title that we applied. So we can quickly and easily make those changes rather than having to retype everything at once. The other options that we have, if you click into the lesson plan and click options here in the top right, are to move the lesson where you can take this one lesson and similarly move it to any date in your calendar. So simply clicking in here and picking a date, we'll take it from one spot and move it to another spot. So this works a little bit differently than copy in that you can only move it to one spot and it will remove it from its current date and move it to the one that you've selected. Going again to, into our options here, we'll have the shift options where you can shift the lesson back, which will not only take this lesson, pull it to the previous date, but all future lessons will also shift back by that one date. If we use the shift forward option, it'll take this lesson and shift it to the next possible date for this class. If there's a conflict, and by conflict, I mean there's already a lesson on that date, then it'll push that to the next class as well. And it'll continue to do so until there's no more conflicts. So when you shift forward, it takes everything and pushes it ahead by one date. When you shift back, it takes everything and pulls it back by one date. So this makes it very easy to accommodate things like snow days or any other potential things that might throw off your schedule. You can quickly and easily adjust all those classes with one click using the shift forward or shift back options.